welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome. I'm gonna be sad you wanna do a love. Yeah. Um I am going to start doing um the beginning of the month and the middle of the month, okay? Um since I'm doing it every two weeks anyway. Alright, so this will be the first half of November. Um and I am going to do a spread just for my Sagis to see kind of where my little heart tamales are at. Okay, super important. That's why I did the reading for how the other one is feeling right now because I want this to be strictly your energy so we can kind of see where you're at and what we need to work through. Um, right now, um, Sagis is kind of like it's a very fortunate time for everybody, but especially my Sagis if um. You know, especially since Jupiter is your ruling planet, which is fantastic. So it's time for you to go on a new adventure. It's time for you to be energetic. It's time for you to be successful. It is time for you to be a leader. It is time to have fun, okay, but be more of a leader. Take advantage of, advantage of like the power, okay? Um, it's time to have this new movement, okay? That's what I'm feeling for you guys in the next couple weeks is, is movement okay um so i'm excited let's see where let's see where you're moving what direction you're going in okay so i will tell you that i'm going to do a rose spread with the sacred cover okay um you're going to start off with your your core issue your past feelings or your attitude um your past actions your advice your present feelings where you're headed and the outcome for november and if I feel the need to clarify, I most certainly will. All right, so let's see what's going on with my my little hot tamales. Let's see what the core issue is, okay? Get my little strategies. Core issue. Core issue. All right, so you have the emperor. So I don't know if you're trying to dominate a certain situation right now, okay? Um, Aries energy could be in your sun, moon rising, okay? But um, right now, you know, you're, you're pretty powerful, which is, you know, you being a leader, but with it being the core issue, it's either you're not being a leader or you need to be more of a leader, okay? There's, there's no in between. Don't be an in-betweener. <laughs> Don't be an in-betweener, okay? Like, go towards whatever it is you need to go towards. I feel like you're trying to control the past because it's going in that direction, okay? There's no need to control the past when you're in the present moment, all right? So I really need you to focus on taking control back of yourself and leading the the current moment okay um current right so let's see what the past feeling or attitude is besides possibly you trying to control or dominate um a situation um so it's the ten of cups so i think you were trying to control the household trying to control your happy or somebody else's happy um, to me, I want to say it's your own happy, but I do kind of feel like you might have been letting your shadow side get the best of you. I don't know if you're partying too much at home, if you're trying to, like I said, control the household. It is the Ten of Cups card. It is fulfillment. So I, I, I'm hoping, I'm hoping this is more like, because if it was like an attitude, the attitude would come from trying to dominate um, so please don't try to dominate like that. There's other people in the household that you need to think of, okay? Um, being the emperor, the emperor tends to be more stuck in their ways, and it's my way or the highway type thing. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But I think in this scenario, considering it's, you know, the past feelings of a situation, it, it was not really clearly working out. Um, let's see what past actions you were taking. Yeah, so
the nine of wands, so it's it's one more fight, okay? So you've been through a battle, and it definitely has to do with either a relationship um, or a family scenario, okay? Um, I feel like you think you're going through a maze, but I'm telling you, you need to take control over this situation in a in a in a different way, okay? Um, sit back, maybe meditate for five minutes a day, go outside, try to clear your head. You just have like one more battle, okay? Um, that you, you're just like, you're exhausted. But you can do it, okay? This is the energy. This is, this is the new movement that's coming to pick you up, okay? And, and put you where you need to be. So you, you know, clearly trying to situate something in the home for your, your happiness what completes you okay or what you feel completes you but is it truly what completes you considering you are trying to control the situation or you're letting somebody else in the whole household control the situation or you're just happiness in general and you're exhausted it's time to to be your own leader okay so let's get some current advice for this situation My hair is wild today. Have to give you two. Okay. So your current advice is the four of cups. So what this is telling me is stop being ungrateful. Okay. Um, you're not you're not being grateful for certain things that are already in your life, and I know it's got to be tough to feel that gratefulness when you have all this going on. But be grateful to maybe get yourself out of this situation. Be grateful that there's a new a new moon coming in, a new force, a new movement, a new period of growth. Own it. The star. To me, with the star saying it is definitely, most definitely time to heal. Go towards your dreams. Be that leader. Go towards success. Let success rain on you. Okay? So, your present, how you're presently feeling. <clears throat> how you're presently feeling. All my hot tamales are presently feeling. Okay. Same as my sports. You might want to watch sports, okay? So it's the seven of wands. And what this is talking about, okay, is standing up for your belief, standing up for your power, okay? Going after your passions. All right, now is the perfect time, the perfect energy to go after your passions. I am going to read this because I've been reading all not all. I've been reading, um, well, you're only a second one, so what am I saying? I'm going to read it to you because it, the way I presented it before was, was beautiful, okay? So the seven of wands represents standing up for yourself and the ideas even despite the opposition. Tension, tensions rise in the midst of competition. The seven reminds you to stand tall and fight for what it is you want for. The quench of the fist is, is going towards the human heart, clinging tightly to the wand. Six other wands point to the heart as they're attacking it. Vibrations pulsate from the heart, showing that you are still alive and you are still pumping. This fist is standing up for all your passions that the heart is demanding. They want you to listen, demanding others to listen as well, as refusing to give up, despite of confrontation. The fist is strong and powerful and fierce. It's used to knock down any competition and protect your passions and to complete your plan. So it's beautiful, okay? So stand up for what it is you believe in. Go after your passions. This this new movement is here. It is coming. Stand up for you. Don't don't give up. You got one more fight to push through, okay? You're you're in the healing process. All right.
right? I don't know what happened. And this is why it's pretty important for me to do these spreads to get you guys back on track. To recognize where you're at and where you need to be. Okay? So, you keep pushing. And don't you dare stop. And I just saw 1010 if you want to Google it, okay? So, this is where you're headed, okay? And you're heading right toward your, toward your dreams anyway, which is beautiful, okay? So, where my hot tamales headed? So, to me right now, the core issue is saying you're not being your own person. You're not being your own leader, okay? So let's see where you're headed. Judgment, okay? Right towards judgment. This is you making your own decisions, not letting anybody else tear you down, not letting anybody stop your passions, your beliefs on what you're feeling, how you're feeling, when you're going to do something, okay? If you're underage, obviously, you know, speak to your guardian and let them know truly how you're feeling and and be an adult about things, and I feel this way, and, and I feel like I should really be going here. Can you please support me? If you're already an adult, I'm telling you, make your own judgment call to get yourself out of the sticky. Go right towards your staff. Go right towards your dreams. You are more than capable. You have this brand new period of growth coming, okay? Go towards your dreams. This is not for anybody else to make this decision except for you. Judgment can sometimes talk about a reconciliation as well, okay? I don't see a reconciliation in this right this second if it has to do with a family member or a lover, okay? This is not where they want you. They want you to make this judgment call without dwelling on this and letting somebody else control your outcome, okay? So advice for the future. Advice for the future, which is for the next, you know, couple weeks, month of November at the latest. back on track okay so you have the king of wands and the king of cups that came out okay so what this is telling me is that right now you need to go after your passions your desires you need to stay determined don't forget to take the action that is necessary don't forget to you know sometimes um i feel like you feel a little lost okay um, or you were trying to control a situation. You're more than capable of using different types of emotions in, in different zodiacs at this time. Okay. Um, I will tell you, I just want to, since there's two of them, you know, this King of Cups is emotionally restrained sometimes. Okay. So your best advice is sometimes right now you might need to restrain some of these emotions, okay? Nevertheless, you still have a tender heart and you're compassionate and sympathetic, okay? Um, but strength is needed here. So your best advice is is this strength, okay? But don't, don't think that, you know, things won't get better. They will, okay? The warm rays of the sunshine will break be behind you, okay? And it will get rid of the dark clouds. You know, don't forget to carry on. Go towards your kingdom. You know, grow healthy and strong. Just as this flower is. Okay. This is a brand new start, a brand new motion. All right. But so for one second, you know, regardless of what happened in the past, make sure you move forward being strong. Continue to have the compassion. Okay. Not necessarily for the situation. Whatever just went down must have really pulled at your heartstrings, okay? It's going to be okay, all right? This King of Wands, to me, is saying you, you stay determined, okay? The King of Wands is a leader, okay? This is they are giving you the strength to be the leader, okay? Go after your, your abilities with other people, especially towards your common purpose. Is an incredible man, has incredible abilities to achieve amazing things with ease, okay? Strong communication skills, all right? So, 
and you have powerful ability, ability to unite people with your common purpose. So whatever it is you're going towards, they're giving you the energy to simplify things for you. Okay. So don't forget to go after your passions and your dreams right now because it is a time to have a brand new adventure. Okay. Um, you know, go towards your path, fiery. All right. Um, but make sure you control the flames so you're comfortable with where you're at. Don't, don't get ahead of yourself either. Okay. But achieve, live in the moment. Okay. It is a new moment here for you. And it is time for you to shine again and get yourself out of this type of energy. Okay. Make your own judgment call to push through. Don't lose your compassion because of what's going on in the household. Okay. Stay determined. Stay focused. Be grateful for what you have. Go after your passions. Don't don't you dare let anybody um, stop where it is you want to go. I see a little a, a little confusion. Um, I think you've been in a situation for a very long time, possibly even a marriage. Okay. It's time to make your own judgment call and go towards your dreams. It is time to take care of you. Be in the moment. Fight the last battle. Because you're about to have a new journey. All right, my little Sagittarius. Get you a moon pad for my Saggies for the next two weeks. Okay. And it's the Sagittarius moon. It says, look at the bigger picture. I my glasses. Are you thinking too much about details of the dilemma that you're in or fraternizing over things that could be more counterproductive? Or perhaps you're not taking the action you need to take. This card reminds you that all good things will come. Sometimes you need to take a step back and look at the bigger picture. What do you see with your current situation? What's the most positive thought you can have about it? Now is the time to count your blessings so you know exactly what you want. This card is also a reminder that you need to take a few risks, okay? With this uncertainty journey that is here, it's called life. Try to have an open mind about it, all right? The the universe could and will surprise you. And, you know, Jupiter is your ruler, okay? So this is the energy to most definitely get out of this situation. And, it, you know, it even said being grateful, count your blessings, because you're not counting your blessings. And I know it's hard because you're going through a very tough scenario, but they really want you to go towards your dreams. You know, look at the bigger picture. Make your own judgment call like I talked about, okay? Um... Sometimes I like when the opposite card comes out and I don't know where it's going because it's additional advice, but this is just confirming. So I, I basically just confirm this whole entire read for you. So don't second guess this spread and where you are going and where you need to be. Okay. Take a time out or a mini break. Take an adventure. This is an adventurous time. Work with this energy. Be productive. Okay. The situation may have come around because you got distracted. Be confident. And win the day. Have you shown someone that you care? If not, now is the time. Find balance between speaking your mind and saying too much. This again, you had two kings and the emperor. You need to find that happy medium. You do need to find that balance. Okay. Um, but the best thing I can tell you is attune to the moon. It, it's time to take a mini break or go on a vacation. All right. It's time for you. Don't let don't let nobody hold you back. Okay. I don't know if you were trying to control a situation or if. It was a, a situation that was out of your control when it came to the household. I understand you want to give up, but you <sighs> be grateful for what you have, even if it's not much. Because with Jupiter, rule, your ruling planet, it can literally change your life around right now. I mean, this adventure you're about to take can be such a an amazing, amazing new adventure for you. And you're, you're more than capable of adulting and doing this. Just go after your passions. Don't let nobody stop you. Don't let this stop you. If you need a mini vacation to step back, please step back. If you can't take a mini vacation right now, just take that time during the day to work on you and push persevere and push through. Okay. Your dreams are here. Partake in the healing. Partake in being your own leader. Okay. Don't don't let somebody else lead this situation. This is a beautiful period. Of growth for you. That flower is budding. It is growing. It is learning. It is going on an adventure. Okay. 
partake in this energy. I love you guys.